Hello, this is Aymatit with Samuel Loke. This channel is dedicated to helping young mathematicians reach their full potential as soon as possible. Well, in this lesson, we'll be focusing on the distributive law of logic. The distributive law of logi logical um, reasoning, or should I say distributive law of logical statement, is one of the algebraic law of um, logical reasoning. So, and um, it comprises of two parts as well. So, um, there I have been making lessons on um, the different um, algebraic law of logical statement. So, you can look into them. So, the first one states P and Q or R is equal to P and Q in bracket or P and R in bracket. The second part of the, uh, of the law states P or Q and R in bracket is equal to P or Q in bracket and P or R, P or R in bracket. So we will go on and um, draw the truth table for each of these compound statements so then we'll compare to see if they really are equal so let us begin with P or Q or R in brackets so on that table we are going to need P on our table we need Q we need R we need um, Q or R and finally we we'll need the very compound statement in question P and Q or R. Now, as you know, in this condition, since we are having three, um, three um, simple statements involved in the compound statement, we will be having eight possible conditions. So, true, 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 false, um, true, true, false, true, um, false, true, true, false, false, um, false, true, true is the next. False true true, um, false true false, false false true, and the last one is false false false. Um, you probably know this um, already. So well, if you are having problem with this, you can go and um, check the lesson on um, the very first lesson on logical reasoning on this channel. So for all statement to be true, one need to be true. So for Q or R, it will be true, 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 and false. Then there, you have um, true, false and false is um, false. Then true and false for the last one. So and that is the value you obtain. If you are having problem with conjunction or disjunction, please look into video for um, the how to obtain their truth value. On the truth table so the last compound statement we have here is and statement right so we have p and q or r okay there is there should be and there so the statement is supposed to be p and q or r okay so we we'll need the column for p and the column for um q or r to obtain the truth value there and for and statement both need to be true so it's true, both statements is true in the first case, the second and the third. But um, for the others, it seems it's false, right? So false and true is false. False and true, false, false and true, false, false and false, false. So and that's the disjunction. So and that's the truth value for that compound statement. So let's go on and see the truth table for the next statement and see if we are going to obtain the same result. So we are drawing the truth table for P and Q or P and R. Um, you should know that it is very important for you to write the title for the table before drawing the table. Okay, make sure you write the title correctly before drawing the table. So on the table we needed um, P, we need Q, we need R. We also need P and Q. We would also need P and R as well. And then the last statement. Please, if the, if you are getting value from this lesson, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. So um, this channel covers a great deal of um, math lesson. 
probably everything you are going to need for your college education and beyond. So let us um, put down the eight possible conditions for the compound statement. True, true, true. True, true, false. True, um, false, true. Um, true, false, false. Then false, true, true. False, true, false. False, false, true. And false, false, false. So we have and statement to deal with next. So we have P and Q. So for and statement to be true, both must be true. So true and true, true. True and true, true. True and false, false. True and false, false. False and true, false. False and true, false. False and false, false. False and false, false. Okay, the next statement, P and R, is also and statement. So let's do it. True and true, true. For an statement to be true, both statements needs to be the true value needs to be true. So, um, true and false, false. Um, false and true, false. False and false, false. False and true, false and false and false, false. Okay. So finally, the um, compound statement in question. It's all statement, a disjunction. So true or true is true. We just need one of the statement to be true. True or false is true. False or true is true. So and for the other ones, we can see it's all false. So let's put down false for the true value for the other, for all the, of the rest. So um, now it's time to compare the tables. So let us see the truth value for the compound statement on both tables you can see that it is identical, right? So the truth value for the, for the compound statement on both of is the same. So that, therefore, we can conclude that P and Q or R is equal to P and Q or Q and R. So let's go on and see the next statement. If you are getting value from this lesson, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. So we have P or Q and R in brackets equals P or Q and P or R. P or R in bracket, Q, P or Q in bracket. So let's begin with the truth tables for um, P, or, um, P or Q and R, okay? So on this table, um, maybe I should put this down to the truth table for um, P or Q and P or R because we let's put them side by side because we would need to compare. So um, on the table we needed P, we needed Q, we needed R. We also need um, Q and R. And finally, the very um um this is or please please note that that is or. So then the the um. Compound statement in question. Okay. So let's put down the eight um, conditions for P, Q, R respectively. So we have, it can be true, true, true. True, true, false. True, false, true. Um, true, false, false. Um, false, false, true, true, false, true, false, 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 true, and false, false, false. So the next statement is Q and R. It is and statement. So both statements need to be true. So Q and R. So let's do that. So True and true is true. True and false, false. False and true, false. False and false, false. True and true is true. True and false, false. False and true, false. False and false, false. Both statements must be true for an statement to be true. So we have P or 
Q and R. Q and R in brackets. So we need that column and that column for P. So true or true is true. True or false is true. True again is all statement. So true or false is true. True or false again is true. False or true is true. False or false is false. False or false is false. And false or false is false. So, and that's the truth value for that compound statement. So let's go on and um, draw the truth table for the other statement and see if it would give us um, the same thing. So we would need P on our table, Q, R. We need all that on the table. You also need um, P, uh, P or Q. We need P or R. P or R. And finally, the very compound statement in question. P or Q in brackets and P or R in brackets. Okay. So let's go on and put down the um, eight um, possible conditions since we are having three comp um, simple statements in this in the same compound statement. True, 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 false, true, false, true. So like I said. You can um, go watch the lesson on the first lesson on logical statement on this channel. So there is detailed explanation on conjunction, disjunction, uh, implication, and by implication, and negation on, on in there. So um, the first statement is all statement. So we just need one to be true. So true or true is true. True or true. True or false is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False or true is true. False and false. False or false is false. And false or false is false. So if one is true, then the statement is true. Now we need P or R. True or true. True true or true. True true or false. True or false is true. False, false or true is true. Then um, that's false or false. Then false or true. And false or false is false. So next, we have an AND statement for the very final statement. So for AND statement to be true, so both need to be true, right? So let's go on and do that. True and true is true. True and true, then true and true is true. True and true there, true and true there. But there you have true and false. So that's false. True, false and true, and false and false is false. So and by now, compare the truth table for both compound statements, you will notice that it's all the same thing, right? So, and that proves that that um, law to hold true. So this is um, the proof for the distributive law of logic. If you get value from this lesson, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Now, um, you might like to check through other algebraic law of logical statements on this channel because I have all of them we have all of them right here. So and let's see on converse, inverse and contrapositive. Well until next time keep matching it and keep winning.